Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. A question recently was asked of me and it reads as follow. If I choose to use other inks besides OEM, can I just print using the same papers manufacturer's ICC profiles or do I need custom profiles? Well, the answer is yes or no. It, it might be such a close match as far as output quality, in other words, Yellow, magenta, cyan, gray, and blacks match perfectly. And if it has green, orange, red, blue, it also matches. And if that is the case, then sure, you can immediately start printing with that ink set and use the manufacturer's ICC profile. But most of the time, that will not be the case. Okay. If you're dealing with a company that does not tweak or custom blend their inks, then they're going to get they're going to be purchasing whatever the lab and there's one lab in the country here that sells to everyone out there and they sell an off-the-shelf version for a specific model printer make and model of course it would be a printer that can be used with third-party inks and not locked out like many of the new printers now will be okay so when you buy one of these ink sets, it's going to be close. It's not going to be a perfect match where if you, for instance, just before you switch, you print a standard image using a Canon or Epson paper on a Canon or Epson printer. Choose that media, exact name media, and then apply the ICC profile. And of course, use black point compensation and relative colorimetric rendering intent. That way, that images in gamut colors will be reproduced correctly. So, if you can match one printed with OEM and then repeat the same exact test, same paper, same settings, same everything, with the new inks, and the only way to do that is with a printer that has movable cartridges, because as soon as you install those and close that lid on that printer, is going to run a purge cycle and more than likely it, it'll simply take one cleaning cycle for you to be printing with those new inks, the different inks that is. That will not be the case with a printer with stationary cartridges. There are ink lines, I like to joke around, there's miles of ink lines before it reaches the print head and it will take quite a while for that new ink to finally travel through all of those ink delivery system lines and internal compartments if you're dealing with one of the newer Canon printers and so forth. So you will not know what the actual quality of those inks are until maybe months later, okay? You would literally have to use up practically all of your ink to be able to then tell if those new inks match OEM. So the thing to do, of course, if you are buying inks from a company that provides you with their custom ICC profiles for not only all the Epson and Canon papers, but as well as many other brands out there, then you just download those ICC profiles, install them. And again, if you're using a printer with stationary cartridges, it's going to take a while. But if you're using a movable type system such as this, where the cartridges right on the printhead itself, you can go ahead and begin to use those new profiles. And as long as they were prepared correctly, you should be able to extract the maximum quality out of that new ink set. Is it going to match OEM? No, it's not going to match OEM. It, OEM ink is basically made from the best, most expensive ingredients out there that the third-party companies simply, they could use them, but they're not about to because then they will not be selling you their inks at, say, a third of the price. They would have to charge you the same amount, and you may not want to do that. So you need to be aware that that is the reason for these companies to possibly provide you with ICC profiles. Now, Precision Colors, which I'm always promoting because I use their inks pretty much exclusively, uh, does that. They actually deal with the lab directly. They perform 
lots of tests. It takes them about a year for a particular ink set before they can tweak it to the max quality. And they really don't stop. They're continually doing so. And so the company will then create this custom blend set of inks that no one else gets. And they have to pay more for that, of course, obviously. And then they'll order in bulk. They'll bottle it and label it and sell it to you. And hopefully you will have a seamless transition between the OEM results that you got just five minutes ago. And you load those inks, let it do a purge cycle, run a, a extra cleaning cycle. If you are worried about maybe it wasn't clearing the old ink out enough, run a cleaning cycle, do a nozzle check, make sure everything is printing correctly and proceed to print. And you should not really have that much of a difference visually between a standard image printed with the OEM inks and a standard image immediately printed with the new inks from PC. Now, they still provide you with custom-made ICC profiles, and not only the ones for your normal illumination, which is D50, but also for different types of fluorescent lights and different types of illuminating conditions. In other words, if you're going to be viewing your images in a hall lit by fluorescent lights, you can actually download a profile that will provide the correct output for then that print to be viewed under fluorescent lights because, and, and maybe not today, this, this day and age, fluorescent lights are not as greenish as they used to be, but I just stick with the D50, which is what most profiles you may download from other companies are always going to be Delta 50 white points. So that's what you would use. You install it, and then you print with that ICC profile once you begin using those new inks. So be aware that, yes, some ink sets out there may actually be so close that you may not have to rely on a custom ICC profile. And then some other ink sets, especially those cheap ones you find on eBay, stay away from those. They're not really worth the hassle. Now, if you own your own equipment, then by all means, produce your own profiles. You'll be making them for your specific printer, your specific batch of ink, and your specific batch of paper. Uh, is that going to be the best? Yes, it is. That's going to be the best ICC profile you will ever have in your computer because you made it for your particular situation, your printer, your paper batch, your ink batch. Okay, that is it for now. Thank you so much once again. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Tell your friends about this channel. If they are into photo printing, let them know. They could always come here for information and be aware that we always have a weekend Sunday live stream where we have multiple subjects being discussed as well as questions from people in the chat being answered by good old me as best as I can. Sometimes I can't, sometimes I cannot. Sometimes people in the chat will help other people in the chat. So it's a wonderful way to spend a couple of hours with us here Sundays at noon. So happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.